Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's plan with me, we are going to be decorating our mini dashboard and classic vertical happy planner using the Simply Gilded box. So let's get started. But first, let's take a look into the beautiful goodies that we are most likely going to be using today, like the stickers and washi tape. And on the side, as you can see, there is a traveler's notebook and a pen that also came in the Simply Gilded box. This box was all gorgeous with amazing items, but in here I will show you only the items that we're going to be using today. Again, specifically the stickers and washi tape, because there are many unboxings out there if you want to see everything that came in the box. This is just like a sneak peek of them. And this box features some rose gold or copper foil, as well as some deeper and darker colors and some neutrals. Like I mentioned at the beginning today, I'm going to be decorating both spreads in this one plan with me, which I usually do in separate videos, but I wanted to try something different in this time and see how it worked out. So this time around, I started with the Vertical Classic Happy Planner and saying that I love how it turned out is an understatement. I think everything in this spread was so gorgeous and the stickers and that beautiful washi tape. As you can see, I am using a lot of washi tape already because I needed to make sure to include it in my spread. And I am glad that I did because especially that middle washi tape in the middle row, I think it makes a big impact in the final result. In this spread, I also included some washi tape on the edges of the holes where I used those feathers washi, which has that vertical design. But at the same time, it is a design that you can use either vertically or horizontally, which I really appreciate. So of course, I had to make use of it as well. And after I place it on the edges of the holes, I go back with my Happy Planner punch and I punch back the holes into my pages. And although I love color and I need color in my life, I cannot decorate every single spread in my planner in only neutrals. At the same time, I do love neutral spreads as well. So I love to switch things up and use beautiful neutrals in my planner from time to time. So I really enjoyed this more neutral box and stickers and washi tape and all the beautiful marble. As you know, I use the Happy Planner products the most, I would say, and the Happy Planner products are usually more colorful and brighter. So this box was just the perfect amount of neutrals in my life. So I actually hope to see more boxes like this one in the future. Now, I am not entirely sure what I will do with the traveler's notebook that I got in this box. We also got another one in a previous box and I haven't been able to use it. I don't really have a lot of use for a traveler's notebook because I'm actually a happy planner rather than a traveler's notebook kind of planner. I have thought of using it as an art or a junk journal or something like that, but I don't really have more time to put towards my paper crafting hobby. But who knows, maybe I'll keep them and use them like that in the future. She sometimes includes some sticker albums, which I very much prefer because I have a lot more use for those. And maybe I can find some album sleeves inserts that I can put into my traveler's notebook to make it more like a sticker album. Let me know in the comments if you know of anything like that or where I could find something like it. But for now, I guess I'll just display it in my bookshelf in my craft room. Now getting more into my spread, as usual, I am doing just some layering with all of the stickers and the boxes. I did some layering also with some washi tape and a couple of checklists. I will not be layering all of the checklists in this spread, but I thought it would be pretty cool to do it in a couple of them and I really like how that turned out. And now I am creating a couple of flags with this washi tape because I wanted to use this washi tape somehow in this spread and I thought I could use it as a layering piece for this other heart sticker which I also liked a lot how it turned out. 
and early during my planner journey I learned to cut the washi flags by folding it in half and then making a diagonal cut that way you get the v-shape pretty symmetrical and in a very easy and quick way now if you want to see how this spread turns out after the pen go ahead and follow me on instagram Emmy Cup Plans, where I will be sharing the after the pen and after I finished with this, I went ahead and added some deco stickers to fill in some spaces here and there and then went to the sidebar to fill it in with some washi tape as well as with a bow sealer. This is a very easy, quick and nice way to fill in your sidebar if you do not use it functionally. So I love to do that with my Simply Gilded boxes. After that, like I mentioned in the beginning, I will be decorating my mini dashboard happy planner using the leftovers of these stickers, so stay tuned. At the end of this plan with me, I will also be linking some other videos that I think you might like, so make sure to check them out. And probably some of you have noticed that my nails are a little different in this week and that's because I usually use my impress nails which are just some press on nails which I actually love but I have had a gel nail polish kit for a while now I mean for years <laughs> and when I first got it I had extremely short nails since I have the very bad habit of biting my nails and even though I liked using the gel polishes and all of that it was a little challenging to paint my nails with it and they never lasted too long because with the very short nails I was never able to apply it properly but now that I have been using the impressed nails for a while my nails get to grow a little bit and I decided to give the gel polishes a try once again which is why again my nails are shorter than usual and probably simpler in design compared to some other videos I don't think I will be using the gel polishes exclusively now I think I'll be going back and forth between the gel polish and the impressed nails because the gel polish actually took me a long time it took me like an entire evening to do my nails while the impressed nails taking me like 10 maybe 15 minutes top between getting my nails ready and getting the nails sticked to mine so considering that it wouldn't be very doable for me to do them all the time like that although of course that could be because I am completely out of practice so that could get better but also I couldn't stop messing with them because again I am very OCD with my nails so they didn't even last as long as they should have and they barely lasted me maybe a little over a week I don't think they got to the two weeks and I was hoping they would last like three or four weeks because again for the amount of time I put on them I need them to last a very long time for them to be worth it but at the very least it was a fun experiment and I hope to keep experimenting with them some more and see how it goes like I said I might be jumping back and forth with these gel nails and the impressed nails I have also thought of getting some nail tips on Amazon to paint on top of them just to get my nails with this gel manicure a little longer although I cannot function with extremely long nails I don't know how some of you do it but I know I can't so they would still be a short to medium length but let us know in the comments if you like to do anything special to your nails or if you prefer your nails to be just bare and natural but now getting a little into the spread as you can see I would say this is kind of a standard decoration for me in my mini dashboard so nothing too special I just use the date covers and some boxes that I saved for this layout I also like using a couple of checklists in here as well as the header stickers including some of the bow headers because they are very thin perfect for this smaller layout they won't take as much space as the regular headers so I always like using a few of them here and there and to fill in some more blank space I also used in this spread some washi tape as well as some deco stickers 
and just like that both of my spreads are all finished in here i have my classic spread as i already said i love how it turned out i love the contrast of the deeper colors as well as the lighter neutral colors with the pinkish tones and here is my mini dashboard the layout this one turned out a lot simpler but i still like it a lot and i am enjoying a lot using it in this week let me know in the comments which one you like better thank you all so much for watching remember that this thursday i will not have a plan with me so i hope to see you next sunday and until then take care and stay safe bye